Hey everyone, it's Mark, and today we're taking a look at a Karen who ends up stealing a ladder because she isn't happy with some workers that are making a little bit of noise. Let's roll the video. I think it's disgusting that you're working at this time on a Sunday. Have you got nothing better to do? We are permitted to start work from 8am on a weekend. I mean, we've got to crack on or we're going to get in the neck from the bus. Now, fair enough we started a bit early, but, you know, I don't see what the problem is. My son is a lawyer, and this is breaking <laughs> noise pollution laws. And I'll have you know, there's a family across the road with a newborn, and all this racket is bound to make give them a load of stress. You're the only person that seems to be bothered by the noise. You're the only one complaining. Well, if we're causing them stress, they can tell me. If we're causing you stress, I don't mind starting a bit later. We can ask the client if he's happy with it. That's fine. Is your client the woman who lives here? Yeah. Right, I'll speak to her then. It's not necessary to bang that hard, is it? Look, I'll bang on this door as hard as I want. Don't you tell me what to do. I'll tell you what to do. Hey, she's, she's proper frackers, sir. What she's, is going on here? Mate, just ignore her. Just crack on with the job. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. What did you say? Just tell my colleague to crack on with the job. I don't think so. You make any more noise and I'm calling the police. Okay, that's fine. We've got a license, so we'll just we'll, we'll work with it. We'll tell them that we're allowed to. Did you give these men permission to start work here at this time on a Sunday morning? That's, you're absolutely disgusting. You should be ashamed of yourself. Working at this time of the morning on a Sunday. <laughs> I can understand being upset by loud noise on a Sunday morning. However, there are better ways to handle the situation. For example, you could have went over there and politely asked them if they could start working a bit later. But instead, you walked over there and started yelling at them, which caused even more noise. <laughs> She's up there now. Jesus Christ. It's fine. Look, we'll just crack on. Just yeah. ignore her, mate. Yeah. Just ignore yeah. her. Mate, she's doing one with the ladders. Mate, what? she's doing one with the ladders. She's off, look. <laughs> oh my god, why is she? <laughs> she's off, look. What? She's done one. I don't, mate, I'm not jumping down now. It's, it's well far. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to get down. That is, mate, she's just. That is ridiculous. She's just off, look. What's going on? What are we going to do? I can't even do it. Shut the client. Why have you took our ladders? I'll give you the ladders back if you stop working. What? The workers have every right to be there. They're just doing their job. And you just stole one of their ladders on video. And the last time I checked, stealing is a crime. It's not how it's gonna work. You just give us the ladders back. Or we'll just call the police. I'll give you the ladders back if you stop working. It's not how it's, it's not gonna, how gonna work. work. <laughs> Oh my god. Just give us the ladders back, we're stuck on the roof. Look, I've told you, I'll give you the ladders back if you stop working. Uh, Alright, fine. fine. We'll just call we'll, the police. Yeah, we'll call we'll, we'll just call the police. It's fine. fine. <laughs> I'll be at home. Just let me know when the ringer. Alright then. Have fun. <laughs> ridiculous, man. In the end, the workers did get their ladder back. However, this woman is a perfect example of entitlement. She was the only person who complained about the noise and tried to stop them from doing their job by stealing from them. And stealing is never right. I would like to give a huge shout out to all of my channel members for your support. All of you are awesome. And that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.